more and more often people are accessing the internet through smartphones, devices or tablets. And that means a change in the paradigm because now there is a new market that is all the software that we develop for mobiles. With the introduction of the App Store by Steve Jobs in 2008, he said, well, this is going to be a market, an industry of one billion dollars. And it's hard to believe because, you know, the majority of the apps are even zero for free. According to Gartner, uh, this market this year is going to be nine billion dollars and in the year 2015 is going to account 60 billion dollars. So we are talking a very huge market that was non-existent only five years ago. What's the main difference between developing software for a web or developing software for a mobile? Basically, it's not translating the traditional website into a tiny screen and trying to, to navigate uh, through the mobile. It's basically to take advantage of all the features that the mobile brings into the table. Basically, contextual information. This contextual information that the mobile provides allows us to have a new relationship with the different agents in the value chains. For instance, we can have completely connected all our employees through this decision capability power. So our employees can make decisions in real time. They don't have to wait to go back to the office in order like, to approve an expense report or another kind of decisions. Also for clients, because clients now they have like an app in, in, in the pocket and they can go to a shop and make this decision in real time. Also, we can also have a new relationship with the devices that are all connected to the Internet. This is what it's called the Internet of Things. We are going from one billion devices connected in at the end of the, the 90s, we are going to go to 10 billion smart devices connected to Internet. So everything is going to be accelerated because we are going to have more points of interactions and everything is going to be more streamlined.